Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you about a free program called CCleaner. CCleaner basically deletes all the cookies and temporary internet files that you accumulate after surfing the internet for periods of times. These cookies and temporary internet files can sometimes be harmful and they take up a lot of space on your hard drive. Now with that, let's get started. To get CCleaner, open up Google and type in CCleaner and press enter. You should get a page like this. Click CCleaner Home. Then go to CCleaner, the download page. Uh, the next page should look like that. Then you want to download from FileHippo.com. Then you move up here to the top right corner and you download the latest version. The from Firefox or Internet Explorer, depending on what you use, you should get a little pop-up asking you to save the file, and you click Save. Once you finish downloading CCleaner, you should have an installer on your desktop or wherever you saved it. It's a simple install, so I won't need to guide you through it. Once you install it and run it for the first time, you should get a window that looks like this. CCleaner has two main components, the actual cleaner that will delete the temporary internet files, cookies and history, etc., and the registry component. The registry is one of the main components of the Windows operating system. Information on every program and the actual operating system windows is stored here. Errors in the registry can be very harmful, and if nothing else, can make your computer very slow. The registry component of CCleaner is OK with all of these default boxes selected. To scan for issues, you click right here. It'll go through and tell you all the problems with your registry, and when it's done, you, fit, you click right here, Fix Selected Issues. It'll ask you if you want to back up changes to your res registry. It is a good idea to do this, but I already have, so I'll click No. And it'll tell you information about each error. You can go through them all, and you just click Fix select All Selected Issues. The next component of CCleaner is the actual cleaner itself. From the cleaner, you can delete uh, temporary internet files, the cookies, history, and internet related things. You can also delete saved run prompts, uh, search autocompletes, like in the recent documents folder where it shows you what you've recently had open. From the system, it'll delete the recycle bin, temporary files, the clipboard, uh, memory dumps, and unnecessary Windows log files. I recommend that you uncheck the three bottom ones and everything in the advanced column unless you know what you're doing otherwise you may mess up windows the next section is called tools which is all the programs that you have installed on your computer from here you can uninstall programs and rename them next is the options where you configure CCleaner starting with settings you can add you can run CCleaner when the computer starts and you can add this context to the recycle bin just to show you what I mean I drag this over here and right click on the recycle bin I have an option to open CCleaner and an option to run CCleaner. Uh, you can automatically check for updates and here you can set how many passes it goes on the hard drive. So this is normal which is going to be the fastest but you can also set it to pass over the empty space 35 times, 7 times, 3 times so it's basically unrecoverable you can select uh, individual cookies to keep and those to get rid of you can choose to include and exclude co some folders of your computer and you can uh, only delete files you can set it to delete files that are older than 48 hours hide warning message I have it set to close the program when it's done and show the prompt to back up the registry you can even minimize it to the system tray that's CCleaner. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll have more computer tutorials up soon.